Hi friends, Budget Benina. I thought I would try something a little different. I have talked about it in my comments with some other people. Um, my friend Belinda um, talked about doing food, making meals on a budget. So tonight we are going to make some soup. You can get these soups at Walmart, Menards. Actually, Menards is where we got ours. And you can add different things to your soups to make it more hearty for yourself. If you'd like, so you, it does call for tomatoes, a can of diced tomatoes. I wanted to add a can of mixed vegetables to amp up the vegetables that are in there. And I thought we would add a can of black beans in there to add some extra protein. You can add in some hamburger, ground hamburger cooked in there, or if you wanted to, you can pick up a can of roast beef, drain that and add that in there and also um, some vegetable or beef or vegetable broth, whichever you prefer. Okay, so it says it calls for seven cups of water to bring to a boil, but I am going to do five cups of water and two cups of the broth. It just gives it a better flavor. So there's two, four, five and seven and we'll get this boiling and we'll come back when I get that done okay now that it's got the rolling boiling going we're going to add in our spice packet and like I said it does have you know some of the veggies in there but not quite as many as you would like or maybe that is enough for you I don't know but for us in our household we do like our veggies so we're gonna get this mixed in and I've already drained the beans I'm gonna add them in now you can add lentils too or white white rice or wild rice um, anything like that you'd like but you're going to want to cook them a little a little before you put them in because this is pretty much all ready made and the rice sometimes take a little bit longer to make and you don't want it to um, be hard and crunchy. So I would pre-cook your rice or your lentils. Ooh, I may have needed a bigger pot. Um, hopefully that doesn't boil over. We've got everything in there, and we're gonna let this simmer for about 25 minutes. And when it's done, we'll be back. Three. Hi friends, our soup is done. It's been 25 minutes, and it looks very hearty, and it smells delicious. Um, when the camera was off, we were talking about um, some of the things that you could put in it. And I was like, oh, you know, telling Randy, remind me. Well, his memory is as good as mine and that ain't going to happen. So I wrote it down. So egg noodles. You can add egg noodles to this while it's doing the cooking process because that's plenty of time to um, the egg noodles to cook. Another thing is in Aldi's, they sell um, alphabet noodles. So you can put alphabet noodles in there. Your kids would probably enjoy it more because they could try and spell their name and they're getting the vegetables and plus they're also, you know, getting an education. Hey, we all like that, don't we? So I do have a bowl of soup poured for myself and it's pretty darn hot still. But some of the things that you can put in there, the classic is, you know, cheese and crackers, which I'm going to add a little bit of cheese in mine. some crackers you can also add onion you can add peppers um, sour cream and use some taco chips the scoops kind and scoop it up like that if you want to so there's a lot of different ways you can do it and we're going to give this a quick little stir and hopefully I don't burn my mouth and we'll give it a little try and I'll let you know how it is no too big of a bite Mmm, it's so good. And it's nice and warm. Good thing to have on a hot, and a, 
a good hot thing to have on a cold day. So, easy meal, on a budget, other things you can add to it. That is what we have for today. <clears throat> Thank you again for watching. I appreciate everyone. I would appreciate that thumbs up, ring that bell, and until the next video, we'll see ya. Have a nice night. Bye. Three. Hi friends.